Hatching using Design Center. We're going to go up to the View tab. In the View tab, in the Palettes panel, I'm going to go to Design Center. I want to go in my Folders tab, not my Open Drawings, but my Folders tab. In my Folders tab, I want to go to my C Drive. I want to go to Program Files, AutoCAD 2016. And then I want to go down to User Data Cache. And then to en-us, then to support, and then to acad.pat, acad patterns. Once we get there, if you can remember all that, which is part of the problem, um, then we can uh, use these, we can kind of thumb through this area here, and look for the pattern we want, and I'll say, okay, maybe I want the steel. And I can just drag and drop it into my drawing, and I will get that pattern. Okay, so I'll delete that. And I can also not just drag and drop, but I can right click and I can say, Oh, I want a B hatch. And then when I got B hatch, it'll actually pop up all my options of my boundary hatch. And now I can come in here and change, for example, my scale pattern uh, right my scale and I can place that in and then I can close my hatch creation dialog box so it's just a different way of doing it um, so we're gonna have to go into the view tab the design center and then make sure you're in the folders and then you're gonna have to go to that path okay so it's gonna be C drive it's gonna be program files Autodesk Autodesk 2016. Uh, we're going to come all the way down to User Data Cache, and then uh, English US, and then Support ACAD.PAT. You have to click on ACAD.PAT to generate the file, so you can see that over here, and then uh, away you go. And so drag and dropping sometimes works, but what's even better is the right click and use B Hatch. All right, so. Uh, that's hatching using design center.